I cannot believe I am really enjoying this series a lot. Like, this is a damn good series. Like, a shockingly damn good series. Episode 1, even though technically we can consider this Episode 2 since we had an episode last week which was titled Episode 0, pretty much this is Episode 2, and I have to say, I, I, I think I'm sticking with this series. Episode 1 just showed me what I should expect, the atmosphere, the mood, the setting, and how good this series can possibly be. Episode 1. I love it. I, I straight up love it. I, I love the characters. I love the personality. I, I like the references too. I was like, oh my god, those references. And just the entire bit of this episode, when it came to the slice of life moments with the characters talking and communicating with each other, I fucking enjoyed it. Like, I, I fought, I really fought from last episode, judging by the conversation with, you know, the harems being trashed upon at the first part of the episode, I thought we were going to get to see, you know, fan service all over the place in this episode. And there was none. That there, there was no fan service. It was nothing at all. And I'm thinking like, oh, oh. So this series is going to be very different from the other supposed harems from this season. So this episode, what I really like about Saikano so far is the characters. That they really stand out. Now, there's nothing tr truly different with the characters that are impressive and 10 out of 10 quality. Pretty much all the characters we have seen before. But what makes them shine so much is the way the dialogue is. I think the dialogue is really what is making these characters shine. Like, Eri and Utaha, their conversation, when they were talking about, you know, why they're there and they're gonna work on this game, that conversation, man, I was just enjoying it i really was just sitting back and enjoying that conversation and for the most part let's really look at this episode i mean what really happened in this episode like it was pretty much our main male character pretty much aki or we could call him kirito since it's the same voice actor like freaking kirito's voice actor is everywhere my god dude he is voicing almost every single main male character from almost every season anymore since attack on titan and sword art online and we also see some sword online references in this episode and i was like whoa and some orimo references fucking orimo anyways besides that okay with the episode it's the main mo character trying to set up his team for building a game. He wants to be a game creator, and he's trying to get an assemble of his team. He's wanting to get an illustrator, he's wanting to get a storyboard writer, and at the exact same time, I'm guessing he's going to be doing the editing. And then you have the main female character inspiration, Kato, at the end of this episode that we know is technically going to be the main male character's girlfriend. So, I can't wait to see exactly how that is going to develop, because it seems like our main character is going to actually choose a girl. He's going to get with that girl called Kato, and I can't wait to see how that romance is going to develop because the series so far from all the other harems and different romances from the season besides Kami-sama and Shigasu, this is standing out. It's straight up is standing out. It's doing a surprise, shocking entertainment. Like, the entertainment from this series is damn good. So, yeah. The animation, for the most part, too, from this episode, shockingly good, too. Besides some CGI parts in this episode, the CGI was like, oh, damn. Besides CGI, the episode's quality of animation looked good, standard Moe, but I like the moments in this episode when the animation or art style technically changed to a different type of theme, like the color palette completely changed with the art lines, like the lining of the characters, it changed colors, like the different colors at random times, and I love that, I love the color palette of that. that, that was a good choice on the animators that was actually making this episode, and hopefully they use this, you know, color palette a lot more because I like the different, you know, art line design. So that's pretty much this episode. I mean, in a nutshell, the episode just set up everything for the main male character, and we got to see exactly how it's going to go. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love y'all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.